This is Sat TV, Brian Dolber reporting from Communication, where I'm talking to Martin Coleman of Colem. Martin, you've become a bit of a champion of the fight against interference. Why is it so important? Well, the real problem is that at last, the satellite industry has always been a problem. Interference on all satellite carriers has always been a problem. Well, it should have been done years ago, but finally, as in November 2009, Inmarsat, SES, and Intel sat, stepped forward and said, this has got to stop. And that's fundamentally where we had a step change, that all the effort, all the discussion, all the various groups finally got into place and were able to put something together to try and deal with it and put some of the fixes in place. Luckily, colin has been involved with actually dealing with the fixes some years ago. And uh, we were actually, you know, we actually helped design the specification for video ID, for all digital video carriers. And uh, that was in 2006, so you can see that sometimes the committee does take a while. But with all the things going on, until the, sat the satellite operators have the problem, but until it really, they really said we have to do something, that was the step change. And it takes a while because it took a lot to get three of the biggest operators in the planet to actually join forces and share data. There's your big problem. And uh, they actually, you know, that's what they did. That was the step change. And that's where we, you know, that's what started my claim to fame and champion video ID. And where have we, where have we got to now? What, what's the next step? Well, it, the steps are happening. It's better than just the next step. Uh, those, two, those three companies set up a thing called the Satellite Data Association in the Isle of Man as an offshore business, non-profit making. There are now 19 satellite operators uh, involved, signed up, and they're sharing the global data of their satellites. Absolutely first time ever, never happened before, so that they can geolocate accurately and quickly when they've got serious interference coming from places they don't know. That's a major, major step, that, that pooling of information that's normally very commercial. And that's fundamentally what delayed everything, getting that pooling of information, delayed all this, what the politics of it, understandably the commercial aspect. So it's a fantastic step. But there are endless initiatives and they're all stepped out. But there are three main ones. There's, there's, the, 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 there's ideal carriers, training of VSAT installations, and of course training for the SNG flyaway. Intelsat SES in Marsat have stepped forward with programs to help train people. I improve the worst cases where people don't know what they're doing on the ground they have to be trained and eventually there'll be a certification process. But on the ID front, at that November meeting, all in one day, there were three working groups set up. And those three working groups, one for video ID, one for data, and one for visa. I, for my sins, am doing the video ID, I can't think why. <laughs> uh, Roger Franklin of Crystal Computers is heading up the data and uh, a very well-known person, David Hartshorn of GVF, the Global VSAT Forum, is heading up, the, naturally, the VSAT, and very well placed. Um, so we've got these three groups, and off we've got, getting, and we've got a team of eight, and we're all volunteers. We've decided to do it voluntary, to try and prove to the industry they've got to step up and do this. And so that's where we, in terms of, the initiatives that are going out, that's a snapshot, there are other things going on, but that's a pretty good snapshot of where I'm coming from. So my remit is to globally make ID, video ID happen worldwide, and at worst by the date of 2015, but I'm now pushing through the WBUI SOG for a 2012, and I want to hit the Olympics, and I, people like you, this could be a fantastic time. We've put a statement out to people. We want every carrier used for the Olympics ID'd. So if you pull it off, you think the industry might give you a gold medal for the Olympics? 
well, that would be a nice thought, but I'm not here to get a gold <laughs> medal. I just, I, I you just want to see it again for my out. sins. You know, I got involved. I've always been passionate. Enjoying, you can see by the white hair. I've been around a little while. Uh, I've worked this system. I've worked satellites. I've worked everything, poles and holes, and beyond. You know, one has to get involved in this industry, and I think sometimes you've got to, it's a payback. And I think, luckily, we've got some very good people out there, and they're paying back. Well, it seems like you're making a lot of progress, and uh, best of luck with uh, with the rest of the programme. That's right. So, if I may conclude, um, we've been here this week, and thanks to Casbar, APSCC, uh, ABS, and of course the manufacturers have all stepped up already. But thanks to that, our Asia plans to get the users and the broadcasters involved, which is a big, big step, yeah, get the uplinker to actually do what I do. They've stepped up and they're starting to help put working groups in place here because, you know, Asia's a, it's a, it's a big market, it's complex, we're going to need help. And it's been great this year to come here and they've invited us in and with the help of GVF, it's made some serious progress. Okay, well, best of luck with it and thanks for talking to SAT TV. Well, thank you, Brian. Thank you.